Game one of Sandbar versus Gold Infernape. That had to be a, uh, definitely some kind of misinput there. Sandbar, very, very smart player. One of the most clever K rules I have ever seen. Again, comes up with tech mid-match sometimes. Yeah, just shoot me a DM, Spooky. A Spooky Wookie DM. Okay. <laughs> what kind of mind games? The big croc mind games. Look at this. It's really, I mean, he just, I think Sandbar, maybe out of any K rule, and like, you know, we have some great K rules here. We got Shaku, we got Marson, we got Handyman, however many other great K rules they are, there are. I think Sandbar is, is the most, uh, maybe best utilizes K rule strengths, like really maximizes the character. Uh, in, in like a well-rounded way, if that makes sense. So, you know, Shaku, I think, has mastered the aggression element. Um, but maybe a little bit less of the zoning element. Uh, I would say Marson, Marson is the mind game master. Um, but doesn't have all the follow-ups sometimes. Uh, misses certain combos. Sambar has... It's kind of like the, those stat pentagons, you know? And like Shaku is like S tier in a few categories, but like A and B tier in some other ones. Uh, I think Sandbar is just like A in everything. And it balances out and makes a really strong opponent. This should be a stock. Dash attack, taking it. Sandbar doing really well. I, I uh, want to paint a little bit of context here is that Golden Fernape, I believe, and correct me if I'm wrong, I believe is PR'd in SoCal. And here's Sandbar, who has gone to, what, two tournaments in real life? <laughs> it's actually really incredible to watch. I wish Marson was here and more of the Marson's Domain crew, because this is just... Really cool. Even you know, just even if Sandbar loses, it just kind of confirming what a lot of us in Marson's community have thought for a long time is that these players are fucking good. They're truly really good, and they just don't have the same uh, outreach because they're just not going to as much stuff. People just don't know about them. Up tilt, breaking that neutral B, getting sucked right into that. Oh, that could have been a gimp. I think Sandbar was not ready to respond to that air dodge. One thing I love about commentating is I feel like I'm getting better as I watch this and I see what type of mistakes people make. Not enough knockback to get that up air. Just a fun side note. Up smash, taking it Sandbar, scooping game one. That loading time was more consistent. I would be really cool about the times. Okay, starting out pretty even here, back and forth. Sandbar maybe looking for an early kill. Golden Fernape, pretty wise to go. All right, I am not lingering off stage here. K rules got a two nasty spikes, a really strong forward air, the blunderbuss that could pull me down. I am not risking it. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't want to call it an early kill, you know, Sandbar is at 90% still, but that was just, it just felt beefy, you know? And Neve, are you, are you saying that Elf wakes up in the morning being powerful? No, oh my god. Oh, oh my! God. <laughs> I saw it happening. I. You know, it's just one of those things. It's one of those quirks of this matchup. I feel like everyone gets hit by that once or twice, and they're like, all right, that's not happening to me again. And then it happens one more time, and you're like, oh. 
This is just absolutely insane. Okay. Very cool. It's the grab. Back throw? No way. Oh. I am looking for a um, <clears throat> co-commentators for these elf. Maybe, maybe you can sneak in and just as an announcer anyway, and just announce the names every time they come in. Kind of put your own weird ass spin on it. Oh my god! I was gonna say, speaking of spin, that belly <laughs> is about to take gold infernate for a spin into the blast zone. Okay, one thing I. I you know, this may have just been a small coincidence, but I, I have a feeling that Golden Fern Ape is going to be thinking about now is Palutena's Shield. It has, for those who don't know, it has very special properties in this game and has basically infinite armor. So it doesn't matter if K. Rule's doing his biggest, strongest attack. If that shield is being used within the attack, that's it. Nice ledge cancel. Definitely threw off Sandbar a little bit. Hey, MJ, what's up, buddy? Ooh, F-Tilt. F-Tilt. Sometimes, sometimes that's all you need. Oh, phew. Sorry, lost him in again. Uh, TikTok's weird to me. Some of it's cool. Like, there's a lot of interesting creative content of, like, I don't know. People making things or like more more of like a like a real skit I think is neat and it can be a, a cool creative outlet but when it's just like I don't know it's I guess it's hit or miss whereas I feel like vine was more clearly about certain things and the humor was was almost more guaranteed in a way with its the way that it was modeled TikTok has started out with music but it kind of uh you know spread out more which again is fine i think it's actually fine but it just got weird to me <laughs> i i never used i've never used tiktok i just see little clips of it on twitter and all that stuff now and then so i'm not the best judge but i can only handle so much social media i have twitter uh twitch obviously is, is probably the primary thing discord a lot a, a small hint of Facebook once a month. And I'm good with that. Okay. Sandbar. Yeah, there's also that in even That freaks me out. Sandbar trying to not let this game run away from him. Big belly dash attack. And spooky, I'm gonna forget because I have a small brain. Just feel, just uh, send me a, a DM on Discord now, and I'll get back to you later. Nice counter from Sandbar, and we can talk about all the Smash stuff. Sandbar has a lot of work to do. Um, anything will really kill Palutine at this point. Unfortunately, everything is small. There's nothing that's big. I can't think of a single thing. Okay. Wow. Still not getting the kill off of that. Oh, no. Yep. Um, I don't know if it's going to be <laughs> Snapchat, but maybe Snapchat will tie in somewhere. Um, but there is, there is a uh, the simp channel in the Discord, and we're going to be having some type of simp hangout, maybe movie nights and stuff, too any of that interests you. Or, if you want a lesson in Smash, Tier 3s also get Smash lessons from Coach Doe. But right now, in this game, neither, neither player needs a lesson from Coach Doe. These guys... These guys are absolutely killing it. Unfortunately, that's a legal elf. Like, 
Nice jabs coming out from Sandbar. That might have been a misinput doing that the wrong way. Sea Wolf. Good luck sleeping. Speaking of Smeagol, I saw that there was some small preview for the Lord of the Rings show, and I'm very excited about that. I'm gonna have to check that out. <laughs> oh, yeah, I see a big D. Okay. Golden Fernape going for the classic, uh, drop the crown off the ledge, which, again, I personally think is not the play. Nice tech from Golden Fernape. Oh, you didn't know about the Lord of the Rings show? Amazon has spent one billion dollars on making an Amazon-exclusive Lord of the Rings show. <laughs> Death Wolf just had the best day of his life. MJ, I know. We'll, we'll have to talk about that more later. I'm super excited for it. Cool, in front of getting a dash attack into the up air, but K. Rule is fucking huge. Damage coming out. Oh, Sandbar almost getting that follow up. It's really hard to predict, especially uh, with everything flying around, just where that's going to end up, uh, where that path of knockback will end up. Oh, the downward angled F tilt does connect on ledge. That's another fun little quirk of the matchup. Just something you got to get used to. Sandbar going off right now. Nice spot dodge, avoiding the grab. So oh, man. Ooh. Wow. Sandbar, the big toes. Sandbar looked like the the drugs kicked in after that first stock. It was pretty back and forth, back and forth, and then it just boom, sandbar went.